How was your experience just, just even going through researching and trying to figure out how to put the whole project together? Because I know it's, it went in phases as you were going along. Yeah, there's uh, what I, and it, it helps being a fan first. I think um, there's, uh, I was listening to this Easy Mill interview and he was just talking about being a fan first when it came to music and I apply that to everything including stories so you know I'm a fan of manga and I see the way that they drop weekly and how you know on YouTube and Twitter there'll be people dropping uh, leaks and spoilers but also theories and different things like that and it's wild like on a Wednesday night or something like that seeing thousands and thousands of people coming in to just talk about a particular story and so that concept of the weekly release I was just like okay so I, I get that so that trained myself into how I was going to release it when I had finished it but also because of my background in graphic design, I use Canva and Canva has these pre uh, comic book templates. And I was just all like, okay, uh, let me see what I could do with this. And so it was just blurring everything together and just creating this story that was pretty much almost like a rough draft to just see what I could do. Mm -hmm. You know, it was just like, okay, I can do this. So what would something more, uh, concentrated more focus more time dedicated to it what would that end up looking like and how would i be able to release it and a part of that is that you know i look at someone like uh eric july from out in dallas he's he's a, a comic book creator who has released his third million dollar campaign independently word you know yes black dude out of dallas eric july who is actually a musician with the heavy metal band the backwoods or one of those or something like that mm -hmm. science to do everything so he built up his stuff as far as music then youtube with politics um and comic books and fusing the two and then releasing this independent comic book and so i look at all of those and i it's really meticulous as far as looking at everything but the main thing is to just do it there's no clear-cut way on how to do a lot of this stuff other than having trying it out and then just having an organ a system in place to be able to have your checks and balances but also to get and interact with the people but give a story that makes sense Man, that's what's up. Um, was that a lot of the music you've been uh, working on lately? Um, you've been doing a lot of your own production. Yes. How, yes. how does it feel to uh, to get into that realm of of music uh, for yourself? You know, it's it's uh, it's interesting because I first started producing when I was eighteen, and it was a roommate that I had that taught me the basics of Fruity Loops, mm -hmm. and. Uh, I was very insecure as far as my beat making skills because I didn't want to, you know, disrespect as far as like, you know, uh, people who have been doing it for years and mm -hmm. calling myself like a producer. I'd be like, I, I make beats, you know, I'll do things. But I think as a rapper, we could kind of get away with it because it's all like we're mainly using our words and for us it's just all like okay so it's almost just having like any piece of paper and it's just like as long as i'm able to get this message across by way of a beat then i can at least do that i don't have to worry about anything other than can i get the message across and that's what production helped me do but it also helped me create this other layer of understanding music in general because it's just all like when i'll work with producers we'll be in the studio or we'll be at their pad they're making it from scratch there's that cool collaboration that i didn't really get until i started doing that with myself and so it was just like okay i have this thought and it was like an instant thing it was something that felt natural mm -hmm. but even with doing these two <laughs> projects that that i did all the production for i was just like man i miss that collaboration with you know producers but luckily i was able to get the best the best of both worlds so 
they'll in future projects there'll be a lot more of my production mixed in but as well as everyone else as well yeah um kind of different aspect of um putting things together on your own trying to learn that process of putting everything together versus you know sitting down with a particular producer to get an idea or a feel for a song oh yeah definitely and for me it almost is when i do the production i try to be very uh, gentle with myself, so to speak, because I do have to take it into consideration that I'm not going to sound like someone who has been at it consistently for a long period of time. And that's usually not the intention. It's like, okay, I hear this dope beat, everything like that. And it's not to say that I won't push myself to, to get better at production, but as far I just wanted to see if I can do it and feel comfortable with even releasing something that I produce while having my vocals with it. Mm -hmm. Man, man. <laughs> so we've got a lot more to talk about. So y'all, y'all, y'all just stay tuned. Just stay tuned. Um, I definitely want to talk about uh, your venture into a uh, YouTube land because. Uh, your, your channel's uh, popping, man. You, you're doing some stuff. So we're going to get into that and some other things. So do not go anywhere. In this block of music, we have brand new music from Ivy Hustles and Audacity, plus the latest from Honored Moocher. But let's go ahead and get into new music from the album Tame Chaos. This is Mr. Composition with Focusing. Keep it locked, y'all. More coming up. This is the Urban Suite KSYM, San Antonio College Radio. <laughs> 